Hi, Caleb. Thank you for your question. So let's see here. We're going to input in our question here. So this is the question we provided. So we're going to try to make it a little bit smaller so we have some room. Okay, so Sarah wanted to catch Jim. However, they started at the same time. Jim traveled 80 kilometers per hour. Sarah traveled 120 kilometers per hour. How much of a head start did Jim have if it took three hours for Sarah to catch Jim? All right, so for these kind of problems, what you want to do is you want to create a table. And it's going to have here distance equals speed times time. Now, here's what we want to do. We want to plug in for Sarah. We're going to plug in only her distance, sorry, only her speed and her time. So Sarah's speed was 120 kilometers per hour and her time, we know that took three hours for Sarah to catch Jim. So we're going to put three here. We know the speed for Jim was 80 so we're going to put 80 here and we're going to put we know that he traveled at least three hours because it took sarah who went started later three hours to catch him and he started sometime earlier than sarah so it's a t plus the three hours that sarah went we never plug in anything for distance yet the only thing that we want to put in for distance is whatever the speed times the time was so whatever speed times the time was. Okay, so it took Sarah three hours traveling at 120 miles per hour to catch Jim. So 120 times three, that's going to give us, should be, if I put this correctly, it should be 360 kilometers. So she went 360 kilometers. And then now we only remember, we only want to put in what speed times time is and then this distance place. So we're going to put 80 times T plus 3. That's all we want to put. We know that since they caught up to each other, this is Sarah. So she started going and she was three, three hours of the way. Let's pick a different color and she was going 120 miles per hour now jim on the other hand jim started much earlier so he was over here he started much earlier and he was going 80 miles per hour so when sarah started earlier she went this three hours and so this is that time that we don't know that jim was going before sarah started going so in the end there they went the same distance here so that means we were going to have to set their distances equal to each other. So let's do that. We're going to set this distance and this distance equal to each other. So that would be 360 equals 80 T plus 3. Okay, so they went the same distance, so that means distance equal to each other. We can now distribute here. So 80 T plus 80 times three, it's gonna be 240. And that equals 360. All right, now we just solve for T here. So we wanna do subtract 240, subtract 240. We get 120 equals 80t. So now we divide by 80, divide by 80. And let's see what that gives us. We have 120 divided by 80. That is 1.5. 1.5t equals t. So this right here gives us 1.5. This goes away. We have equals t on this side. All right. So that means that this t right here equals 
1.5. So Sarah went three hours, took Sarah three hours. This is Sarah's time. And it took Jim. Jim equals 1.5 plus 3. So Jim went 4.5 hours total. Now the question asks us how much of a head start did Jim have? So that head start is this t. Remember we drew our graph. This is Sarah's time. She went three hours. And this is Jim's time. He started much earlier with this three hours here, but he went another time t. That t is 1.5. So how much of a head start did Jim have? He had an hour and a half head start. He had a head start of 1.5. And then he went an additional three hours with Sarah. So his total time was 4.5. He went longer because he was traveling slower, 80 miles per hour. Sarah went 120 miles kilometers per hour, and she was going just three hours. So Jim had 1.5 hours head start before Sarah went, and that's your answer. Your answer is going to be 1.5. hours. Alright, hopefully this helps. Please feel free to ask any questions.